me see if I can make this thing work properly. Your microphone. Oop. Put it in here or something. Doesn't look too bad. So we'll see how this works. Hi guys, I'm Mark Wood, and uh, I have this uh, new timer thing that I've been working on for a while, and I'd like to show it to you because it's becoming uh, pretty much viable. Uh, I've, I've got a uh, number of flights on this now. I've been test flying it on the, this uh, foamy, this is a Igor Burger style uh, indoor foam uh, GB. So a few of us, uh, got excited about this because uh, we have a, uh, a, a fairly local place to fly, fly indoor, and uh, we're, we're pretty much a control line and uh, free flight uh, group of folks. And uh, so we're excited about the facility and uh, we've been holding some indoor free flight um, activities and we started talking about doing these airplanes and I cut out a number of kits and several of us have built them and we've now got them flying and uh, we're having a lot of fun doing it. So in the process, I uh, wanted to have an active timer on mine and I've been flying for the last year or so uh, the uh, Fiorati timer and it works well. Um, but it could, it could benefit from um, some better performance, especially in the turns but the um, an accelerometer based timer, one of the things that occurs is you get either too much or not enough gain uh, in, the, in the corners, and so the airplane loses energy. Um, after some time working on, on the uh, problem, uh, I decided that the best way to approach this is to uh, have two separate systems that uh, are uh, calculating the thrust increase or the thrust gain. One of them is control based. I'm, I'm using a servo. Actually, there's, there's not much left of the servo other than just the uh, potentiometer and um, uh, the inputs to it. And all the servo does is it takes, let me see if I can get in here and show you how this is integrated. It just takes the position of the uh, push rod. So I've got a little adapter right here that uh, I've um, made from uh, uh, PETG and uh, it's glued to this carbon fiber rod with uh, just basically um, CA glue. And so whenever the control moves, it moves the pot and then the pot communicates to the uh, timer and uh, so there's a, a uh, control gain that uh, increases the thrust based upon the uh, control input. There's also an accelerometer back here, and this accelerometer is uh, two axes, and between the two axes, I'm able to compute what the pitch attitude of the airplane is. And so if the airplane is pointing straight up like this, it adds thrust, and when it goes to pointing, pointing the uh, nose straight down, it reduces the thrust seems to work pretty well in the development here in the number of flights I've had um, I started off with a very successful first flight and then uh, you know as all things do you know engineers are engineers and people just can't not mess with something that's working well I went backwards about 15 steps um, in the subsequent flights and uh, I think I've got it back to where it was actually a little better than the original flights and I'm gonna put some more flights on it but it's in a position now that uh, I can demonstrate how it works. And so I have one set, of, one set of gains that works whenever the elevator is deflected, it adds thrust. And whenever the nose is up or down, it adds or subtracts the thrust as necessary for climb and descent. I initially thought that I wouldn't need to do that, but after flying these foamies and uh, seeing some performance, uh, I decided that I would integrate also the, uh, the attitude and I had I started off initially thinking that I needed an attitude and then after um, 
after doing some calculations in the drag and the inputs, I thought I could get away from it, but then flying in foamies, you you absolutely need to have that if the performance is going to, to work. So let me show you how this how this um, um, timer works. Um, this is a breadboard, so there's a lot of a lot of pieces on it, and it's based on based on some uh, uh, off the shelf components. I have a start switch and two indicator lights here. One of the lights is a warning light. It tells you that the motor is going to start or stop. The other one tells you that it's running. And then on my board back here, I have three adjustment pots. See, it's kind of hard to see in here. And let me see if I can get it snuck around. Show the camera right back in here. There's some adjustment pots back here. One of them is for time, one of them is for gain, and the other one is for power. And uh, subsequent to building this and using it, I, I decided that I need to have four pots so that I can, I can adjust both the attitude gain and the control gain. Today I can't adjust the attitude gain because it's not part of this logic. I have some, some printed circuit boards being made and they will include the, um, the attitude gain. They'll also include, include the ability to uh, terminate the flight with uh, a key fob. If you've seen my, my uh, remote controlled um, stooge release, it's on, based on a key fob and the ones that I've been, been releasing and selling are two buttons. But uh, along the way I bought uh, a key fobs with four buttons which, which gives us some flexibility to do things like start and stop the motor. Uh, the, um, being able to terminate a flight is something that would be very, very useful. You know, you can take off an airplane that's not working very well and push the button, stop the flight. Um, in the future, it's going to be start, stop, and then uh, I have plans on integrating the ability to in-flight adjust the, uh, the trims, the gains for the, for the uh, climb dive and the, the gain for the uh, power. So that, that's, that's future integrations. So right now I'm just making the thing work. So to, to make this start, I push the button, and then there's a little flashy light that flashes until the motor starts. And I did something, get it started again. Some, sometimes there's a little glitch with the um, attitude uh, sensor that causes it to, uh, to shut off in that initial start. So you can see right now that the airplane is running in what would be a fairly low power. And so if I, if I move the elevator like this, I get power, right? And this is not a, this is not a linear game. So it, it starts off just very, very slow, and then as, as the angle, angle is increased, then the thrust increases. And the reason it's done that way is because the drag is not a linear function of angle of attack or G. And so the, the uh, equation for, for drag is built into the control. So now if I pitch the nose up, I get an increase in thrust. And if I fix the nose down, I get a decrease in thrust. And I've got the gain set quite high right now for illustration purposes. So if we were going to do a wing over, for instance, the airplane goes like this, goes over, decelerates, comes down, and then, then recovers, right? So if we were looking, if we were looking at a, uh, a maneuver, say a square loop or a square figure, we would go around the corner. We go. Elevator like this and go neutral. The level flight inverted. Down and then back to level again. So so the power the we run out of power. So the uh, so the motor just shut down. It's only 25 seconds or so that it that it runs. So you can see you see what happens is that the two, two gains are put together and one will take over and saturate the thrust, thrust output. And then whenever the maneuver is finished, you know, for instance, we, we, we start off in level flight, we give up elevator, the airplane makes its turn, 
it goes up, the power increases through the turn. When we get to the position, the elevator is neutralized and the airplane continues the power. So, so the first game, the maneuvering game, control game, initially drives through, through the maneuver. And then once the maneuver is complete, the attitude game takes over. So if we're at a level, level high position and we wanna, we wanna come down, we push the nose over, the attitude gain subtracts from the, um, from the, from the um, maneuvering gain, the airplane comes down with, with braking on it. It reduces the amount of power that goes through that maneuver as it, as it happens. So I haven't got a lot of flights, but the ones that I do have so far have been uh, very promising. And uh, I will update this, uh, this video um, soon.